Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to go over seizures or epilepsy in the doggy. I'm going to go over three steps today. What the pet owner sees at home, what I as the veterinarian see and do to diagnose the seizures, and how we go about managing or treating seizures in the dog. Today's episode is going to focus on epilepsy, and epilepsy is one of the most common causes of seizures. Epilepsy is a neurologic misfiring in the brain which causes a seizure. We usually see these kind of seizures in middle-aged doggies. The good news is about these seizures is it's not like an organ issue or a developmental or an anatomical issue like in the young puppies. And it's not like a tumor or a cancer lesion like in the older doggies. Epilepsy is noticed predominantly in middle-aged dogs. Owners that have dogs with epilepsy tend to see a handful of things that can vary greatly between pets. Some doggies may have focal seizures. Focal seizures are really mild and you may not see a big change in the dog's behavior. Focal seizures may cause things like fly biting or stargazing where the dog's behavior becomes abnormal and they may disengage from their pet owners. Doggies may also have tremors which is just maybe a facial twitch or a muscle twitch. If you get more of a generalized seizure, which we tend to think about as humans, the scary ones, where the dog may fall over, poop, pee, convulse, and be unresponsive for a few minutes at a time. You have a quite the gamut of different possibilities of seizure symptoms. No matter what the pet owner is noticing, the one thing I really encourage them is to videotape it. Now, to get some video can be really helpful for the veterinarian to kind of lock the veterinarian in to a possible seizure diagnosis. Because a lot of the diagnosing of epilepsy is based on the history, what the pet owner tells the veterinarian, and what we could put together regarding the symptoms. When the pet owner rolls in the veterinary clinic, as a veterinarian, I'm going to do a complete physical exam. I'm going to look the doggy over from the nose to the tail. I'm going to make sure the doggy's healthy. Most likely, the dog will not be actively seizing. It's quite rare to get a dog with epilepsy walking in with seizures because a seizure has already taken place and now the dog's normal again. So after we do the physical, the veterinarian will probably do a handful of tests. The most common test that's done is blood work. They'll do a CBC, a chemistry, an electrolyte to get an idea of how healthy the dog is. Because if the blood work shows something abnormal, that may be the cause of the seizures. But in the case of epilepsy, it's going to be normal. Because, as we mentioned earlier, it's a misfiring in the brain and it's not some anatomical issue or cancer issue, it's a neurologic issue. So, the frustrating part is, we've diagnosed it as not being any of this, but we're stuck with a diagnosis of exclusion. You can always do an MRI at a specialty clinic. This is not routine practice because epilepsy is just so common in your middle-aged dog. So, in most cases, a specialist or a neurologist will encourage the routine labs to make sure the dog's healthy. There's a lot of really good seizure medications out there on the market today. The veterinarian will pick the most appropriate one for the doggy. There's some meds that are given once a day. There's some that are given three times a day. And a lot of veterinarians will actually do two meds or even three meds to manage a seizure patient. The logic of that is to give as little as possible of multiple drugs than one big dose of one drug. The veterinarian will do routine blood checks and therapeutic levels of the drugs they are giving. Once a dog starts seizure meds, they will be on seizure meds their whole life. Some doggies may have to have their doses adjusted if the owner notices seizures developing over the years. or. If we're doing really well and our therapeutic dose is a little bit high, they may bring us down a little bit on the medications. It's really a, you know, a partnership between the pet owner and the veterinarian to provide the best care possible to the doggy. The good news is most dogs with epilepsy do pretty good. Once they're on their meds and they're regulated and the seizures go away or greatly reduce, the dog's quality of life becomes really good. Even though epilepsy is super scary, seizures are scary, have confidence that by going into your veterinarian and getting the right tests and the right meds can provide your doggy with a much, much, much better quality of life.